Hey, I'm Grace, and I've been living out of my Forerunner since May of 2021. And in that time, my wardrobe has gone through so many different iterations. And today I'm going to take you through my current wardrobe that I think is just about perfect for me. If you're curious about this backdrop behind me, this is Key West. It is a beautiful day here nice breeze about 77 degrees when i started my journey about two years ago i had much more than i do today because i was able to stuff it all in my drawer setup that i had but now i have a dog and her crate takes up the majority of my space so i can no longer have my drawer set up this is everything i have today for clothing packed into just a couple packing cubes this is everything i need to face any kind of weather situation, hot, warm, cold, snowy, windy, rainy, you name it, this is all I need right here. So let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and start with the big one and then we'll talk about all the accessory items. This one right here is the majority of my everyday clothing. And if you believe it or not, I still have too much stuff. This has shirts, pants, joggers, leggings, workout clothes, everything that I would need that is not base layer clothing, if you want to call it that, underwear for short, that is all in here, complete with some extra accessory dog hair. I did used to have all of this stuff broken into separate packing cubes, but I found that it got complicated to have little packing cubes like this, full of shirts and pants and stuff just broken into its separate components, and it's much easier to just put it and one. I just pulled all of the stuff out of that packing cube and laid it out and now I'm gonna walk you through how many of each item I have. This actually looks a lot more colorful than my daily wardrobe. Usually I am wearing all black like I am today but this has a bunch of stuff for cold weather as I mentioned warm and cold weather all together so some of this hasn't been touched in months. Starting over here with the left I have a pair of joggers and a pair of leggings. Also talking about pants, I have two pair of Keb Fall Ravens, which I love. I wore these almost every single day and I wore them up until it got about 75 degrees and then I was just getting too hot throughout the day and switched to shorts. But I have so many videos filmed in these and they are expensive, but they are so worth it. So I'm gonna talk about these a little bit more. All right, so the pants, these, are the Keb trousers, like I mentioned, and everything that you see that is dark is waxable. So if I put wax on this and heat it up, it becomes more water resistant. So I can tailor them to the climate that I'm in and make them more or less breathable. All of this light green that you see is stretchy. So they are very comfortable. It's all over the pants behind the knees i can move around very easily in these and they don't feel constricting other cool features they do have vents on the thigh and also at the lower leg makes them more breathable again and finally at the base of the pant there's a built-in gaiter so i can hook this little hook on the front of my shoe and it makes them gaiters so pretty neat this entire lower leg is the darker material. It's waxable and it keeps it more water resistant. As for the pockets, one set of pocket does not have a zippable interior. It's just a little elastic phone pocket or key pocket in here. And then on the other side, this one is zippable. So if you really have important stuff, money, I guess keys would go in this one. They can go in here. Oh yeah, there's too many features to talk about. There's also a knee pad insert hole. Okay, I have a pair of these in green, a pair of them in black. They're expensive, like I said, but get yourself a pair, you will not regret it. Onto the giant pile of shirts. Remember when I said I had way too much stuff? This is where all of the extra stuff is. I have this Viore hoodie, a button down shirt, also in the same color. You notice some themes here two of the same shirt from Viore that are a lighter material. I also have worn these in 70 degree weather and they're very comfortable, so love these shirts. I have two of them, one in black, one in burgundy. You can probably figure out my favorite colors now. And then I got really crazy and I brought along a pink 
long sleeve workout shirt. This is the only long sleeve workout shirt that I have. I could wear these Viore shirts. I also have three plain black t-shirts just like the one I'm wearing. That's all my shirts. In total, if you didn't count, that's three short sleeve t-shirts and five long sleeve t-shirts. As for the clothing that you will see me in pretty much every day here in Florida, workout clothing. I am not a very stylish person, so this is perfectly fine for me, but here's the count on those. I have four tank tops, and then I have six pairs of shorts, not including the ones I'm wearing right now. And finally, I have this blue fleece from Mountain Hardware, and I have this vest from Patagucci, and I love this thing so much. It is adorable, and I never wear it. Once I get back to Colorado though, that vest and I, the best of buds. So while I'm putting all this stuff away, you may have noticed some of my favorite brands. Outside of the workout gear, I am definitely a Viore person. If you aren't sure how to spell it, that is how it's spelled. This fabric is insanely soft and it, it washes and dries really well. I throw this stuff in the dryer and it hasn't peeled at all. I absolutely would recommend this Viore stuff. I didn't mention it before, but these joggers are also Viore. Because I'm limited on space, I don't have much Fall Raven stuff in here, but I also have a different style of Fall Raven pants, and they are equally as amazing. So, Fall Raven, Viore, Cool, Patagonia, Mountain Hardware, there you go. This I'm actually going to put with my outerwear, which we might as well talk about right now. In this little cube, I have this is a very, very light rain jacket. There you go. One of my favorite colors, green. And the jacket that you've probably seen before if you've been on my channel, Mountain Hardware Puffy. That's it. Will it shut? Oh yeah. While we're at it, I'm going to give you the packing cube recommendation. Don't buy this brand of pack. I would definitely recommend investing in some good packing cubes, like these Eagle Creek ones. You can probably see how these have more fabric along the edges than these guys, and look what's happening. Admittedly, I have stuffed this more full, but if you felt this material, you'd be able to see that it is less durable in general. So Eagle Creek's a good brand. I would not recommend going for the Amazon special on the packing cubes. All right, final two things. This stuff is pretty boring. This is just full of sports bras. I have one, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Ten sports bras. And lastly, this little guy has socks and underwear. I have 12 pairs of socks, 12 pairs of underwear. Socks and underwear, I would recommend a few extra pairs of just because these are not smell test compatible items. Once they are dirty, they are dirty. So bring some extras. There you go. Between these three packing cubes, we're looking at about seven to 10 days worth of clothes with my lifestyle. I am a very active person. I work out twice a day, morning and night. So I go through clothes a lot faster than the average person. All of this stuff might last somebody a little bit more than two weeks if they didn't like the gym as much as I do. But for me, we're looking at seven to 10 days here. As for footwear, I wear these every single day. These are the Hoka Bondi 8s. I just picked these up last week. They're pretty much brand new. The Mach 5s, these are going to be my new running shoes. I do enjoy a workout activity called rucking, which is walking with a weighted backpack. So for that, I have these boots right here. I don't wear them too much just because they're giving me blisters still. So I almost forgot my beloved hoodie that is looking a little worse for the wear. Trying not to wear it as much. I also have a pair of flip flops and a pair of shower shoes. So five pairs of shoes. You have now seen my entire wardrobe for road life. I will put a grand total of all of this stuff that I have with me, probably right here, so that you can see everything in one place. But now that we've talked about that, let's go ahead and chat about some more tips that I have not already mentioned. 
first and foremost, if you are anything like me, you have this grand idea of what you are going to look like while you are on vacation or while you're traveling or on the road. And 95% of the time, that is not what you will wear. You will wear whatever you wear at home, which for me is workout clothes everywhere. So that's what I wear on the road. That's what I've packed the majority of and it works for me. So pack for your lifestyle now, not what you think it will be. It will save you so much space. When I left for the road in May of 2021, I had a job outfit, I had going out or fancy outfits. I had so much extra stuff and I never wore it. So now I have this principle that I follow. I don't pack any extra clothes that I don't think that I will wear on an everyday or semi-regular basis. If I need something for a special occasion, I tell myself that I will purchase it on the road. I have never done that, which tells you how often I need those clothes. So do not pack extra, pack what you already wear at home. Saving space is absolutely crucial. Another reason that I tell you you wanna save space is because you might find some items on the road, like my peace sign hoodie, I found that in Salt Lake City, that you wanna buy and bring with you. If you have to pack that stuff, just in random places around your car or around your van, it's gonna wind up cluttering up your space and it's just gonna drive you nuts. I have been there, I have done that, so leave a little extra room just in case you do wanna pick up a hoodie or something special. Next tip is to be strategic about wearing your clothes and don't be afraid to do the sniff test. We wash our clothing so much more than we have to. If you wore your shirt out to dinner once, for two hours, it is not dirty and you do not need to wash it. So don't be afraid to do the sniff test. Be strategic. Don't use a clean shirt for cardio if you know you could do a lift in it first where you are not going to sweat much in it and then wear it for cardio later. You get two uses out of it instead of one. So be strategic, use the sniff test. It will make your laundry go so much further. Also, you want to try and pack clothes that you can wear in multiple scenarios. Like I said, I'm a workout clothes girl. I can wear this out whenever I'm walking around town. I can wear this to the gym. Definitely pack some clothes that you can either dress up or dress down so that way you're not overpacking. All right, we're now going into the car because this next and last tip is important to be done in here. How do I keep this vehicle from smelling like a locker room. I dry my clothes completely before I throw them in my laundry bag. Moisture is the enemy. If your clothes are dry, they will not smell up your car. Also change your air filter. I think that covers it. If you enjoyed the video or at least the view, please consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe subscribing. I would definitely appreciate it. If you have additional questions, please leave them down in the comments. I hope you guys have a great day. Zora and I are going to go hang out.